Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who is risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism, and on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God, and show we're nearing the end of days. Today we're taking a look at New York. On our channel we show how all of the world is going along as a matrix, and that everything's created by God, that we're nearing this biblical end times, and that this war is actually happening right now with the woman on the beast, the beast from the bottomless pit, Satan, and these ten kings all fighting Jesus Christ as we lead up to what would be considered to be the Babylon's fall. See the fall of Babylon? And that would lead on into the rejoicing in heaven, the marriage of the Lamb, the rider on the white horse Jesus, and the defeat of the beast and the false prophet. All right there. So you can see this. The woman on the beast is a spiritual entity. It's, some people have compared it to the, the Vatican Church and things. One of the many things that, that myself and many others have noticed is every, not everybody, many people like to make the whole biblical end times one single bad guy. It, there is Satan. But there is all of these other things involved. There's the woman on the beast. There's the beast from the pit. There are seven kings and another ten kings that are all part of this big beast system. Which you can see here, the beast out of the sea. With seven heads and ten horns. Each one of those horns is a different fallen angel. And the beast was like unto a leopard. And his feet as the feet of the bear and the mouth of a lion. The Pope, the Vatican is involved, the Queen of England is involved, and then every single ruler on the planet is involved. All the kings, all of them. That's what it says, it's the wrath of the Lamb. The, the world has been controlled by Satan. You can see it here in the sixth seal. And the kings of the earth and the great men, well we know somebody who talks about being great so that means a part of Donald Trump and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb when Jesus takes the throne for the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? See the 17? You can see who he's going to fight. The woman on the beast, which has a lot to do with Queen Elizabeth also. And then the beast from the pit, and the ten kings. These shall make war with the Lamb. There's the 17. Well, these things are mapped out all around us. The earth is created by God. All of the other different religions, even Islam and things, are part of these ten kings making war with the Lamb. You cannot totally just wipe out the Vatican. The Catholic Church helped spread Christianity across the world. In the old Catholic prophecies, even from different popes, it says that their church will be infiltrated and will turn to darkness by Satan. Satan has infiltrated the Catholic Church and corrupted them. It was not corrupted all the way from the beginning. It, it helped spread Christianity. It, it has grown into this corruption. Then you had the Great Schism, as they call it, with the fracturing going on. It's even talked of by the different popes and things that a darkness in Satan has entered into the Church. It, that doesn't mean you wipe out the whole Church, because Islam is not the answer. They are an antichrist religion. It's a great big fiasco everywhere by Satan deceiving everyone. Satan deceiveth the whole world. God created the world. 
and the universe. And then the fallen angels came down. All of those fallen angels, that's what all the different religions are. They knew God's plan for the Satan, you know, for Savior Jesus Christ. They corrupted the world. They are trying to stop the second coming of Jesus Christ. When the flood happened, God made a new world. It rose up out of the water. This world is a great story just to catch the fallen angels. Everybody that comes to Jesus is redeemed. It's all about catching the fallen angels and whatever angels have not been caught yet, the spies, because they get cast down by Jesus. Revelation 6 and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth. Jesus goes up and throws them all out. See there? Do you notice the 13 again? That means the Revelation 13 beast. Angels. The beast out of the sea, the fallen angels and Satan. They're all cast out. All of them. And a great rebellion is finished. Well, it's mapped out everywhere. As we've shown, God has made all this earth as a big trap to catch them all as they think that they're running everything. This is New York, which is one of the prophesied places to actually be hit by something, earthquakes or nukes. That does not mean the whole USA is wiped out. But this area is something that's going to go on really bad, as well as something's supposed to happen to Britain and part of a big part of most of the big cities of the world that are controlling all this. Something to drive all of the world leaders underground. Well, you notice in Britain they always have the underground, the subway, <laughs> things like that. Russia has built facilities. The USA government has built facilities. It's about the new ark. See the ark right there? These things are mapped out all around us. How is it done? God is God. At the end times, one of the things that he's doing is proving to everyone that he's the Lord. Just by showing this evidence I'm showing today should show that all of those fallen angels and everything are just fools. Even Queen Elizabeth, see Elizabeth right there? There she is. The woman riding the beast, trying to steal and stop the new ark. The new ark is Jesus because the old archangels are corrupted. Satan was an archangel. There is Elizabeth. There is Queen Elizabeth right there trying to stop the new ark. See how God has it all mapped out? and He's done all of this and shown all of this for his glory. Just as it says that in the book of Acts people like myself and billions of others will wake up to show these things. This is for the glory of God to show that he has had them figured out since the beginning when they all lied to him. And now they're all plotting to try to steal the earth and to steal the ark. You can see the dragon right there. Queen Elizabeth and here is the leopard. See it all right there? And right over here, you can see the bear. And up to Frank, Pope Francis, right there. Pope Francis. The feet of the bear. See how that's going on? The Vatican and the Queen. And you can see what they're all trying to keep down. See the new ark? That is for Jesus. See how she's blocking it? See how he's blocking it? That's what's going on. You can see the ark and everything right here and the people ready to go up. See the people that are being tortured? And that represents the eagle to go up. Well, we can all see who's in the way. The Union Jack. See? The Union Jack. They are on the way of the new ark.
So that's what all that represents right there in front of us. There's the bear, Pope Francis, Queen Elizabeth, the dragon, and the leopard, the Revelation 13 beast out of the sea, all trying to stop the new ark, which means Jesus. God will have his own ark and will not have to depend upon angels ever again. That's the problem. That's, know ye not that ye shall judge the angels. They are the ones that are afraid of the judgment day. The angels. Because they all get judged, good and bad. Even Michael the archangel must report and get judged for every single thing that has gone on on this earth on the angel's side. And that's why Jesus sets us all free. He blames the shepherds, the angels, that did not defend us. They didn't help us. Most of them didn't. That's why you're not supposed to pray to them. See, it's all right by the lines. There it is. So there's Pope Francis, and there is Elizabeth, and the dragon. This is why Donald Trump says, Make America Great Again. Great Britain. That's what it all represents. Here we go. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. There's direct evidence of Pope Francis, Queen Elizabeth. We've shown the Saudi Arabian prince as part of this, the one that just killed the American reporter, the Russian Vladimir Putin, and especially over into China, the Red Dragon. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.